How is again? Someone just brought up the point there about church burnings in Scandinavia, the black metal church burnings back in the day, being associated with satanic. Well, the only way they got associated with satanic was because the media did it. Most of those bands were pagans, uh, Scandinavian, Nordic pagans, to do with Satanism. Later on, people came along and wrote 666, and that and happened in other countries like America, copycat things, and they were like, you know, devil man, you know, we're 666. Now, I have mixed feelings about the church burnings things. I'll tell you, they, okay, I have no sympathy for the church getting losing their, their churches because they destroyed our pagan temple. So, on that level, I have no problem with it. On the other level, not have burned the stave churches, the Norwegian stave churches, and they, I think at least one of them was burned, and that was wrong. I was totally against that. That should have never happened because those stave churches come from a, a very earlier pagan type architecture, and they were probably look at the dragons all over them. They were probably pagan, uh, built by heathens originally, and Christians just came along and says that's ours, like they did with the temples in in southern Europe. So. Well, I didn't like that part of it. In terms of ta the, the balls of them doing it, I totally respect that. Once they made sure that no one was inside and no one would die or anything like that from a fire, I have no problem with that. Uh, I wouldn't encourage it. I just said at the time it was going on, I remember laughing my head off. It was very funny. It was, I did things like that as a kid. Now, I never burnt the church down. But we used to meet, I used to write, you know, inverted pentagrams and upside down crucifixes and spray paint and 666 back on, on the back of the, the parish hall in Shangan Avenue in Ballymore which is now gone. By the way father if you're if you're still alive on your deathbed wondering who did that that was who used to do that on Christmas day it was me and Farler but um, that was kind of just immature childish stuff it didn't really have a it, I mean I, we hated the church in the time we were little kids and so it uh, it wasn't done it was immature teenage 14 year old bullshit that's all when we did it all it was you know writing graffiti on the back of churches and inverted pentagrams and 666 it wasn't meant in any kind of like revolutionary or insurgency way we barely knew anything about paganism other than we were we were actually we knew for almost nothing really and uh what we knew about were things like anton lavey and that's because that was mainstream popularized and we saw you know we, we had the satanic bible and things like that so but we didn't know anything really much about like that there was a you know it's occasionally you'd see something on british tv where you'd have some ponce dressed up like uh, an anglican bishop at stonehenge and we'd laugh at them and i still laugh at them 40 years later and uh even more so now so the church burning things i've mixed feelings about it now i think i think that I mean, there's a big thing about the Notre Dame, what to do with it now. And it turns out there are all these billionaires who said they would give all the money to it, all these, like, these douchebags, these virtue signal millionaire douchebags. Uh, they, would, they, they, they haven't given a penny yet. <laughs> it was all free publicity, like, to get themselves mega virtue signaling. But uh, I think they should just leave the roof open and, and landscape it as a park and then return the, Vul the, the shrine of Vulcan and Jove, the, the, the boatmen of the Seine put there that you know 2000 years ago i think when you go to places like glastonbury Mellifont abbey whitby abbey a uh, cashel and numerous other abbeys that lost their roofs during the dissolution there's one very close to me called cart abbey a beautiful place that the uh, dissolution of the monasteries but firstly on the henry the eighth and then under then following that on the cromwell well basically and this is why one of my theories is that the they destroyed the monasteries by what they did was they they and a big they took the roofs off them so no roof but they left the walls and they they they're often very pleasant parks today because there's no there's no middle eastern gods living in them and this is my also one of the foundation theories i have if you read the Druid code in my book on the round towers of ireland the both the cromwell cromwellians and king henry's group did not touch the round towers because the round towers were not christian they had been there beforehand. They were pagan, and uh, and it would have been one of the easiest things to pull down. And yet they went to huge trouble to dismantle roofs off, you know, massive cathedrals and churches.
Boyle Abbey's another one. Actually, that even has a round tower remaining on it. And uh, there's something very beautiful about these places because they're open to nature and they're open to the gods of the natural world. And that's what makes them beautiful. And I think that's the future. You know, instead of demolishing the churches, now it's, it's some horrible modern architecture churches that are just horrible. But like the beautiful churches, as Christianity is dying in Europe, just remove the roofs, the roofs off them. And then landscape them for parks where children can play. Uh, that's what I loved about the, the Minervan Shrine and beyond 313. It was the children's playground next to it. There was children playing among the goddess Minerva. And uh, that's, that's how you venerate them. True life, true beauty, not true putting them in Magdalene laundries and making them ashamed of having a child and, you know, taking the child off them. That probably belonged to a priest anyway and selling it for adoption in America like a piece of meat while going oh holy Jesus ah Jesus why are we the most holy sainted people that's another thing I feel bad that Gem Gemma O'Doherty her channel and it was disgraceful that her channel and Bragg's channel was taken down uh, Bragg's channel was very mild and uh, Gemma O'Doherty's channel was taken down and I don't you know I, I don't agree with her in most ways uh, especially when she was saying things like you know calling all patriots and then it'll be followed up by we must worship a foreign god you know so that's catholicism Ooh. Uh, uh, you know in terms of well she wasn't even doing catholic there the, the bunch following her were going you know satanic the catholic church is satanic we must return to real christianity of jesus oh really so you're going to become a jew okay so it i don't agree with that kind of uh, I think that this, the architecture is beautiful, but it's only beautiful if it's exposed to the natural light. And then just let the then then let the rains do what they want. Look, you know these abbeys. Some of them have had their roofs taken off now over five hundred years, and they're still in good shape. You can do repairs, but they're also there's something beautiful about the aesthetic of how they've crumbled and things like that. And uh, especially if they've I wonder if you place that do like a lawn is around an old ruined abbey or own ancient church. So don't 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 take don't don't demolish these beautiful architectural things. A lot of them are based on pagan ideas anyway. Remember the flying buttress that allowed the building of the great European Gothic cathedrals? That was a Roman invention. So, you know, even the great products. So some of them are built on magical alignments, like Salisbury Cathedral is built along that line between Old Sarum and Stonehenge, and that's you know that's a very important alignment over a short distance. You know I me; mean, I don't believe that ley lines are straight lines that run across the world. They're wavy lines in a local area, and you don't have to be dead straight. They run like everything else in nature. They like they're like rivers or a light. They go like this. They don't go like that. And uh, yeah, so, and I, you know, I mean, you see the video I recently did of St. Winifred's Well, a Catholic shrine, which is originally a pagan shrine in Wales. I, they're lovely. The sincerity of the pilgrims who go to these things on the feast days of these saints. Our ancestors, pagan ancestors, were the same. I don't believe that we should go around persecuting Christians, but I do believe that they have to make amends. Look, if I take a Christian, you want to be a real Christian, get out of church. And, and start worshipping that way. Become a Catholic or something like that, or become a, a first-generation first, first generation Anglican or something like that. Uh, don't be following that King James nonsense, which is just the Torah anyway, the Talmud. And uh, let the churches decay, and let, 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 let you can go into the church and pray to your, your Christian God if you want, or a Muslim God, or anything. I can go in there and pray to my pagan gods. Open spaces for all. And that's what I think we should do with the churches. Just take the roofs off them and give them back to the sky gods. Ave Lucifer.